hätten die Verbrennung der Amerikaner. What is up my gorgeous mates of YouTube? My name is Ozzy Marcel and in today's video I've got five fragrances for men, although some of these are unisex, that are classy and sophisticated and I've got two honourable mentions as well. But before then, my fragrance of the day, and you could include this on the list as well, and that is Stronger With You Intensely by Armani. This is a sweet caramel Fords fragrance, exceptional performance with over 12 hours and three sprays, but I wouldn't be surprised if your skin chemistry allowed this to last for over 24 hours on your skin. It smells incredible. It is very sweet though, so if you're averse to sweet men's fragrances, this may not be for you. But if you're after a very solid performing men's scent that's going to get you incredible compliments, there's just something about these sweet men's fragrances that women love to smell on you. There's, I don't know what it is, it's kind of like that gourmand quality perhaps. They just want to get in close and smell them. But this one is no exception. It smells utterly rich, utterly classy and sophisticated. Performs like a beast. It is on the pricey side, on sale. It can be as low as $130, but I have seen this one much more expensive than that. So shop around, check out eBay perhaps. There's probably a couple of blokes out there that have bought this without realizing that it smells so sweet and quite feminine leaning. It is still masculine, you know, there's like a an amberish base here that leans a little more masculine, but up front this is very sweet, very caramel Fords, and I think it smells fantastic. So try it out on a tester strip and on your skin before you purchase it, because it isn't going to be for everyone, but I can assure you, women are going to love the smell of this on you. Actually, everyone's going to love the smell of this on you. Now, as for the honorable mentions, we've got Valentino Wormer Aqua. This is a fresh aquatic scent with an iris note, and you don't often see those two together. Iris and aquatic notes, sea notes, they don't go together all that much, but... Man, this is classy, this is sophisticated, it's fresh. And for a fresh scent with that iris note, with that slight lipstick quality to it, it performs like a beast. Like, we're talking eight hours plus with one spray. If you're after something similar to Dior Homme Sport, but a little cheaper, Although, you know, bottles of this can still go for over 150 bucks. It's still cheaper than Dior Homme Sport. But if you want something similar to that, but generally a little cheaper, same performance, if not better performance. And this is just an absolute compliment magnet. There's something about this one. It's ultra masculine, ultra fresh. But with that iris note, it just classes it up. Yeah, oh, it smells delicious. And the last honorable mention is Bogri Man Black Orient. If you like Bulgari Man in Black with that tobacco note, that spicy quality, which smells very close to Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb but performs better, this is like Bulgari Man in Black. It's boozy, it's spicy, but it's got an added oud note. It performs like a monster. This is a 12 hour plus fragrance. I'm not going to waste the spray, but there is almost nothing on the market with such a luxurious, sexy, mature quality to it. Younger men are going to be probably turned off by this one, you know, they're not going to vibe with it all that much. There's just something about this that screams 40 plus in like black jacket, good quality shoes. There's just, there's just something about this fragrance that screams class and luxury. Performs amazingly. It may be discontinued though, so do shop around. I have seen bottles as low as $100 on eBay, but I have also seen them over $200. So I hope you're able to find this for a good price. I, I picked up two bottles of this from Priceline on clearance because they weren't selling for $80. And that is probably the score of my life when it comes to fragrances. This one is incredible. Highly recommend it. Smells amazing. Smells classy as hell. And it performs like a beast. Ogre Man Black Orient. So, cheapest one on the list, David Beckham Amber Breeze. You can find this one on sale at Priceline for $19 or at Chemist Warehouse at full price for about $30 to $35. This one actually performs pretty decently. I sprayed it on my hand a few hours ago and it's still there. Amber, but it's got a hint of freshness up top. What does it say on the back? The scent like a sunset ride, fresh and spicy with endless possibilities. This performs good, it's cheap. It's going to suit teenagers just as much as it's going to suit somebody in the more mature years, somebody 40 plus. Wow, it is quite attractive, it's 
It's got this rich amber base, some citrus up top to give it freshness, and I get a bit of spice and like a couple of woody notes as well. Very attractive. And it's quite cheap as well. So Amber Breeze by David Beckham. Check this one out. Next up, and you can find this one for anywhere between $40 and $60, we've got Karl Lagerfeld's Boys de Cedra. This is fresh, aquatic, spicy, fresh spicy I should say. Citrus up the top. It's a little aromatic as well and it has an awesome design. I don't like using the word awesome, but there we go. It's got such a great design. I love the way all of these Lagerfeld Boys fragrances look. Performs decently, it's fresh, it's ultra versatile. You're gonna be able to pull this off all seasons, all occasions. And you can generally find it for less than $60 Australian. It smells so good. I imagine this to be the kind of fragrance worn by a young businessman stepping out of an office building on like a, you know, a crisp autumn day or like an early spring day. It smells so damn nice. Definitely check this one out. Next up, we've got one of the most luxurious fragrances on the market. Johnny V, John Varvatos Artisan. It's white floral, it's citrus. It's got a, some woody notes in this one as well. I imagine this is the fragrance that a wealthy guy going to Puerto Rico and he's living on the beach. He's going to Hemingway's bar every single day. This is an incredible fragrance. One of the best performing fresh fragrances on the market. It is a monster when it comes to the compliments. There's, you know, there's not a lot of white floral men's fragrances that don't come across as overly girly. This does not come across like a girly fragrance at all. It doesn't come across feminine at all. It is pure masculinity. It's fresh, it's vibrant. It's got a little bit of woodiness to it as well. A touch of spice, like fresh spice. It smells incredible. It smells like pure class. And the thing with John Varvatos fragrances are that they smell amazing, but they don't generally perform too good. This one, I get like eight hours of performance with this for three sprays. So it's pretty good for a fresh scent. You know, you're going to be able to find it for anywhere between $40 and $80. I picked up a couple bottles on clearance for $40 bucks from Priceline. Shop around, go on eBay if you have to. Catch.com.au usually have a bottle of this for less than $50. So perhaps go there for all the Aussie buyers out there. But yeah, Johnny V's Artisan. It smells incredible. It smells like just pure class. Definitely check this one out. Next up is a fragrance that originally I wasn't the biggest fan of, but the last few days I've been wearing every single day, except for today, and that is Prada Loam Intense. This, to some people, smells like toilet freshener, to some people, smells like bug spray, but once you sort of get past that, you know, initially I didn't love it, but lately I just can't get enough of it. It smells absolutely perfect. It's got a huge dose of iris. It smells kind of soapy, fresh, but I also get an earthiness, an iris quality, a violet quality, some woods as well. It's powdery, it smells incredible. We're talking about 12 hours plus performance with one spray, so you do get what you pay for when it comes to performance. It has been discontinued, unfortunately. If you can find it for like less than $150, pick it up. But I managed to pick up a couple bottles for $100 from Priceline on clearance. So, if you can find this for anywhere under $200, highly recommend checking it out. It is incredible. It's amazing for compliments. Although some people, there is something about the note of iris that some people, a very small percentage of people, don't like for some reason. I don't know if you've got any experience with that. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, most of the time I get nothing but positive attention for this. Highly recommend it. Check this one out if you can find it. And last but not least, we've got one of my favorite scents of all time. Tom Ford Ombre Leather. This is for the man or the woman, it's a unisex scent, that wears all black, that wants to look dark, edgy, mysterious, but also classy as hell. Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. It can cost upwards of $300 Australian, but what you get is a fragrance that performs for over 12 hours, at least on my skin it does. Some people online say it gets less than that, you know, and if that's you, that's a bummer, man, because on my skin, this is a beast. But there is just something about this scent. It is absolutely incredible. 
I love it. I love the way it smells. And every time I wear this, I get complimented for it. It's one of the only fragrances that I've ever worn where every single day I wear it out, I will get comments on it non-stop. It does cost quite a bit of money, you know, $300 for a fragrance is nothing to scoff at. But in saying that, you do get what you pay for. You get pure class, pure luxury. It's dark, it's edgy, it's mysterious. But it's also smooth, creamy, rich. And I find it to be more mass appealing than Tuscan leather. Tuscan leather in the opening has that, you know, sort of sweet raspberry note, and then it goes into this full on animalic leather. Whereas ombre leather sort of starts off a tiny bit fruity, but it's more sort of like a creamy leather note throughout. So I find it more mass appealing. Anyways, this is simply one of the most attractive fragrances on the market, and it also happens to be one of the most sophisticated fragrances on the market. Definitely check this one out. The, the Parfum is also great with that iris quality. You can't go wrong with Tom Ford, really. You do pay a lot, but you get a lot. So if you've ever worn any of these before, let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. And until the next video, my name is Ozzy Marcel, and I'll catch you guys around.